Hello students, and welcome to today's lesson over the equations of a circle. Our objective today is that we will write and analyze the equation of a circle in a coordinate plane using our Desmos Olympic activity in journal notes. Now, at this point, you guys should have already completed the Desmos Olympic activity, so we're going to go right into our notes at this point. Now, from your exploration, you've learned that there is an equation for a circle that you can write in a coordinate plane. Um, and that equation is going to have a center at hk and a radius r. So first we assume that our center is at hk, and we say x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. All right. So when we're writing the center from the equation, we notice that if we're looking at these two expressions, right, um, you have to make sure that when h is positive, right, this sign in here, it starts as a negative, so it'll stay a negative. When uh, k is positive, then same thing will happen. So just make sure that you're careful about that. All right, so for our first example, we just want to identify the center and the radius. So the center here, well, we just look for h and k, right? So I have minus 1, and I have minus 8, and I know that h and k are positive because the sign is the same as the original equation. So our center will become 1, 8, and then my radius. Well, my radius up here is squared. So what I can do is I can take the square root of 49 and that will be my radius. So this is actually equal to 7. Alright, and then the same thing will happen in example 2. Except now we see that we have this sign change. So that means that my h is actually negative. So my center will be at negative 2. Now there's nothing over here uh, being subtracted or added to y. So what that means is that it's a 0. So it's that's negative 2, 0. And my radius, we'll see, is the square root of 100. Or we can also say that that is 10. So as we can see, pretty straightforward to find the center and the radius uh, given the equation. Uh, it's just reading exactly what we're given, and that will give us the equation. All right, so now we're being given a center is being at 4, negative 1, and my radius is 6. So if my h is positive, it doesn't change the sign in here, so it's x minus 4, and then y minus negative 1, so this will become plus 1. And my radius is 6, so I want to say 6 squared is equal to 36. So we complete our equation with the 36 here. All right, then for example 4, we have the center is at the origin. And remember that origin is that point that's at 0, 0. And my radius is the square root of 10. Well, we know that the square root of 10 squared will just give me 10. So we have x squared, because it's at 0, plus y squared, because it's at 0, is equal to 10 squared, or square root of 10 squared. And so that will be my equation. All right, and finally, for example number 5, uh, we're given a circle that is outlined here, and we want to find the equation for that circle. So my center, I find, is at, looks like 2, 3, Ah, uh, yeah, that's what we have over here. Our center is at 2, 3. And then my radius is, actually, this is going to be wrong right here. So that should actually say 2, right? Because if we count from the center to the edge here, we see that that's going to be 2 in length. So uh, we have x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 2 squared, which will be 4. So my equation will look like this.
All right, that's all our notes for today. Your reflection today will be to answer the following question. Given the equation x plus 3 squared and y minus 5 squared equals 25, what is the center of the circle and the radius? And then in one or two sentences, describe how you identified uh, the center and the radius from the equation. Have a wonderful day, and I will answer any questions that you have in class.